We can breathe now. Yeah, listen, um, some of the lads have just said that we've guaranteed Premier Division football for the 20th season in a row for Dungan, which is a remarkable achievement. Uh, you know, 20 years in top flight, unblemished. It's, it's, it's fantastic for for the people at the club and, you know, for the budget that the club work within and, um, you know, for a club that always develops its own players and always has a good scattering of homegrown players on display. Like, it's a fantastic achievement. Um, you know, but obviously we feel that, you know, over the course of the season, like, you're, you're right, we can breathe now that, you know, we've, we've guaranteed our survival, but, you know, we feel over the course of the season that our performances have deserved better results at times. And we feel we've been competitive in probably, you know, three quarters of the games we've played. And we've let ourselves down in some games as well, but um, I think tonight was was fantastic for us because we've kept a clean sheet. That's our only our second draw of the season. Uh, you know, we dug in, especially in the first half from Porta Down, like they needed the three points. Um, they really took the game to us, but we, you know, we were quite resilient in, in how we defended. And then second half, I thought we played really good football. Second half, Reese and Joe linked up really well at times, and we were unfortunate not, not to pick up three points. But at the same time, at the other end, Dwayne has had to make a couple of really good saves, and Gary Breen, Dylan King, you know, Marshney defended some some corners and free kicks as if their lives depended on it and you know, it was a really good performance, especially second half. That's what you picked up on Dwayne there, like he did, he essentially kept us in the in the league, essentially yeah. with his saves. It was all about a clean sheet tonight. And that's and, what we got. Yeah, and um, you know we haven't kept too many clean sheets throughout the season and you know we just feel at times we've been every time we seem to make a mistake, you know, we, we seem to get punished. But tonight like, you know, our mistakes were at a premium, and we didn't. You know, we we dug in. We we spoke to the players before and about what was what was needed and what was expected. And uh, and I think um, I think it's important. You know, you look at the spine of the team now. You know, like Bilal and and Brini at the back, and then James Knowles in the middle of the park, Joe up top, and Bushy on Saturday. You know, you've got real experience there now, and I'll add that to the, the you know the young players we have and the ability and the, the legs that we have. You know, and they're bringing the young players on, which is, which is brilliant. In terms of the match itself, it wasn't a pretty watch. Um, first half wasn't pretty, believe you me, from our point of view in the dugout. But we we were pleased second half with how it turned out because we we thought we we uh, we got a bit. We just tweaked the shape. A wee bit, obviously, consulting with Dean on the mm -hmm. phone <laughs> and on the sideline. Um, but we, we tweaked it a wee bit half time, and we got Terry a wee bit further up the park. We got James doing a better job at screening the balls into Sally. He was causing us problems in the first half, and um, and then Terry and Maisie did really well second half and linking up with Joe and and Reese. And um, as I said, look, we, we were disappointed that we didn't win the game, but. Obviously delighted that we've got the point that we needed to guarantee your survival. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Charlie.